Indians. So big were they that the yard at Belfast had to firstly build new slipways before their construction could begin. The huge gantry dominated the skyline of the city. At over 850 feet in length, new quays had to be built in Southampton to accommodate the liners. In New York, the authorities were a little slow in preparing themselves for this new breed of passenger ship. These important scenes show the Titanic's sister gradually rising towards the sky with the huge hull plates being lifted in for the riveters to begin their deafening work. In less than four months, a second keel would be laid down, that of a ship destined for disaster. This rare archive film has survived remarkably intact its rusty tin helping to preserve the nitrate material. By the autumn of 1910, work on the liner's hull was complete and she was launched into the water amidst great celebration. Work would now proceed to finish the liner off, ready for her maiden voyage in the summer of 1911. Titanic would get none of this attention at its launch a few months later. If the cameraman had panned just slightly to the left, he would have glimpsed the Titanic in the throes of construction. With the foresight of cameramen from the early part of the 20th century, we've been able to get a glimpse through a window on the past at the legend of Titanic. One thing is for certain, this legend will continue well into the 21st century.